um, this is my part two, my first video kind of cut out. So um, just leaving off where, or starting up where I left off. Um, obviously there's, there's a possibility of Mikey Garcia fighting uh, Terrence Crawford. That fight is available. They're both looking for opponents. And at the end of the day, even though Lipinets and the IBF are going to go their own separate ways, um, it really doesn't matter at the at the end of the day. It's not going to affect my opinion on Terrence Crawford, right? Um, I still think Terrence Crawford is an excellent fighter. B before when he was um, when he fought in Dongo, I didn't think that that name was big enough for me to move him up and down my pound for pound list. So he stayed where he was at. I don't care how many belts he has. It's just to me, what matters is the names. That's what matters. The names. Who are you fighting? The, that opponent that you have, what reputation has he built? And you know what? Even if at the end of the day I would have underestimated Ndongo, if he goes on and has a successful career, and this isn't a, a one-hit wonder, then it'll still help Terrence Crawford. There are residual effects to his pound for pound. Now, if Ndongo goes out and gets knocked out by... By another fighter, it, it will look it will look like he really wasn't much of an opponent, right? But we we can't really make any decisions right now based on Indongo just lost against Crawford. We don't know what's going to happen after. He can have a great career, and the, or this could be the end of the road. We don't know. It has an effect my position on Terence Crawford and where he lies on the pound for pound list, in my opinion, right? Um. And whether or not he vacated the IBF, it still doesn't change it. It's not good or bad. You know what I mean? What is good, though, is this is a sign that he's probably looking for bigger and better things. There's probably a better opponent, a much better opponent, much more interesting fight than what Lipinitz would have provided. So I, I, I look at this as a positive. There's a good chance that we might end up seeing Crawford fight one of the bigger names that, that's available. So... If it heads in that direction, if it heads in that direction, that'll only help his position on the pound for pound list because it's the, the names. That's what matters. That's what I want to see. I want to see him fight a notable opponent, someone that makes sense. You know what I mean? Diaz was in the right direction and Dongo was a step back. Let's keep it real. Diaz was a better opponent than Ndongo and it showed by how long he lasted in the fight. No. So I don't want to see any more step backs. I don't want to see him step back to fight Lipinets. I don't want to see him step back for anybody else. It's time to move forward. So um, at the end of the day, this is all positive. Us asking for Undisputed is only giving power to all the sanctioning bodies, making it seem like they're all equal. And at the end of the day, if this is what it takes for people to understand that they're not, then <laughs> fine, then so be it. We'll take this hard route. We'll take the long route. Well, you know, we'll learn the hard way. But at the end of the day, we're going to see if uh, boxing fans are fed up because it's about time we start, you know, taking some of these belts off the table and start disqualifying them. Let's go back to saying, hey, you only need three titles to become undisputed. Let's put some pressure on, 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 those, uh, on those sanctioning bodies. So that way they, they, they understand that they have to meet a level so they can be on that top three. And if the top three isn't doing it, then we'll, we'll cut off another one. You need two belts to become undisputed. Slowly but surely, they'll, they'll understand that that's, really that's how you affect their pockets. That's how you're going to affect them. But until we keep asking for undisputed, keep saying, hey, this guy needs to pick up the last belt. There's one more belt on the table. And we keep saying that that's a, a, a legitimate belt then we're pretty much saying that they're just as, ju just as um, equally, I guess I would say, relevant as all the other belts, even though there's guys like, there's um, belts like the IBF who seems to be making up the rules as they go. And um, that should be unacceptable. What do you guys think uh, about the whole situation? Let me know.